good morning my name is nvrd padmalata i am from scm government degree college tanuku today i am going to uh, give presentation about different atomic models and the uh, advantages of vector atom model of an atom uh, to account for the experimentally observed spectroscopic data several theories have been proposed regarding the atomic structure which are known as atomic models the atomic models different atomic models are thomson's plum pudding model rutherford's nuclear model bohr's atomic model sommerfeld's relativistic model and the last one is vector atom model uh, but these uh atomic models were not able to explain the fine structure of the uh, spectral lines so to account for the fine structure of the spectral lines uh, bohr's theory was uh, useful for to some extent but it had also some drawbacks the drawbacks of bohr's theory were uh, that it could account for uh, spectra of atoms uh, only like hydrogen which are which has only single electron and single proton Uh, it could not account for the spectra of atoms which were more complex than hydrogen also it does not give any information about the distribution and arrangement of the electrons in an atom that is in an atom the electrons are distributed in different orbits this was not uh, clearly given by bohr's atomic model the next one is it does not explain variations in the intensity of spectral lines of an element that is about the brightness and the darkness of a spectral line Uh, some lines were more intense and some lines were dark so it could not account for the uh, intensity of the spectral lines it cannot be used to calculate the allowed transitions from one level to another level such as rate at which they occur and the selection rules that is when an electron can jump from higher energy state to lower energy state or whether it can come from lower energy state to upper energy state this was also not explained by bohr's theory of the atom it also does not account for the the main point uh, it had was it could not account for the fine structure of the spectral lines it also cannot uh, give quantitative explanation of uh, chemical bonding it also fails to give the uh, splitting of the spectral lines in electric and magnetic fields when a, an atom is placed in an electric field each line is split into a number of lines this was uh, this is known as stark effect and when an atom is placed in a magnetic field each line is split into a number of lines it is called as zeeman effect so uh, bohr's theory of atom could not account for the stark effect and zeeman effect uh, so these drawbacks were overcome to some extent by sommerfeld where sommerfeld introduced uh, elliptical orbits so an improvement over bohr and sommerfeld was vector atom model which uh, applies quantum theory so the, the two main distinct features of vector atom model are spatial quantization and spinning electron which is very very important and uh, it could account for the fine structure of the spectral lines because of the spinning electron because of the concept of spinning electron brought by uhlenbeck and gaussmit so the vector atom model it is an improvement over Uh, bohr sommerfeld model that is bohr proposed circular orbits whereas sommerfeld proposed elliptical orbits just as you can see in this figure an electron um, there are a number of electrons revolving around the positive nucleus center is positive nucleus that is positively charged nucleus and the electrons are moving in different elliptical orbits around the nucleus the main contribution for this model that is vector atom model was by bohr sommerfeld uhlenbeck gaussmit pauli stern and gerlach so the next part is how could uh, vector atom model uh, account for the fine structure of the spectral lines that is first one main concept of uh, vector atom model is space quantization so according to bohr the electron moves only in circular orbit so a circle has two diameters equal diameters so it has only one degree of freedom according to bohr so electron has only one degree of freedom it moves in a circular orbit but sommerfeld proposed elliptical orbit when it uh, when sommerfeld proposed elliptical orbit the electron has two degrees of freedom because an elliptical orbit an ellipse has two uh, major axes and minor axes both are not equal one is larger and one is shorter so 
uh, Sommer field model proposed elliptical orbits and it had electron has two degrees of freedom. So applying Bohr and Sommer fields model together that is elliptical orbits then uh, the electron has two degrees of freedom but we can see in the previous figure uh, that is as you can see here electron is moving in different orbits there are number of electrons in an atom and these electrons are moving around the nucleus so they move in elliptical orbits and you can see here the electron has three dimensional motion which shows that uh, electron has together uh, motion of the electron is three dimensional as you can see in that figure and it has three degrees of freedom therefore in this model which is based on the quantum theory the orbits are assumed to be quantized both magni in magnitude and direction that is orientation of orbits in space so this concept is called a space quantization electron has three degrees of freedom therefore from this you can understand that uh, spatial quantization that is the electron uh, the different quantum numbers that is that are coming can be quantized both in magnitude and direction so, and three dimensional three degrees of freedom this is the concept of uh, three uh, space quantization so in this way the third condition quantizes the orientation of elliptical orbit in three dimension and does not alter the sommer field orbits in size and shape so the elliptical orbits were not disturbed and shape was also not disturbed and so this proved space quantization space quantization concept was brought by vector atom model so the next concept is spinning electron so electron apart from revolving uh, around the nucleus it also moves around itself that is called spin so this spin concept was brought by Ohlenbeck and Goldsmith in 1925 so the spinning electron hypothesis was put forward by two scientists which had brought a great change in uh, atomic models and there were a number of the theories explained by the uh, spinning electron hypothesis. This was brought by Uhlenbeck and Goldsmith. So the multiple character of alkali spectra like sodium, potassium and other uh, atoms were explained by spinning electron brought by Uhlenbeck and Goldsmith in 1925. So the electron revolves not only in an orbit around the nucleus but also about its own axis this is the concept of spinning electron which has brought a vast changes and drastic changes in physics and accounted for the fine structure of spectral um, spectral lines in an atom hence electron has two types of motion one is orbital motion that is around the nucleus electron revolves around the nucleus then the other one is it spins around its own axis it moves about its own axis that is spin hence angular momentum of the atom is not only due to uh, revolution or orbital motion of the electron but also spin motion so we can get another quantum number by spinning electron hypothesis that is spin quantum number um, again according to quantum theory the spin motion like orbital motion should be quantized which introduces a new quantum number that is spin quantum number as i said uh, when we consider the spin of the electron that is revolving about its own axis when electron revolves about its own axis we get a new quantum number that is spin quantum number apart from uh, principal quantum number n and uh, orbital quantum number f the spin quantum number also comes into picture the orbital and spin motions are quantized not only in magnitude but also in direction according to the spatial quantization and uh, that is quantized vectors therefore uh, electron spin and uh, electron orbital motion brought about uh, two changes that is now we have principal quantum number n uh, orbital quantum number l and also the third one is spin quantum number and the combination of orbital quantum number l and spin quantum number yes is called as total magnetic quantum number so the concept of uh, vector atom model that is spatial quantization and spin of the electron were uh, completely proved by an experiment done by stern and gerlach which is nothing but uh, which verifies uh, spin and space quantization that is called as stern gerlach experimentation experiment which verifies space quantization and concept of spin electrons therefore Hello, my son. Yeah,